so many people say, well, you know, this person left the Lord, but it's because he was treated badly in church. And therefore, he has a good excuse to leave the faith. I am very against that rationale. And I'll tell you why. The person that we should look at as Christians, the person whom we should be standing on as Christians, the person that is supposed to be our foundation as a Christian, his name is Jesus Christ. And yes, I can testify that when I was first saved, I was very hurt by many people in the church. Many people in the church talk bad about me. Sometimes with good reason, but even more times with no reason. Sometimes they were right when they said, look at Dan, look what he's doing. But sometimes they were terribly wrong in their accusatory manner. Yes, it was a shame. Yes, it was terrible. But did I have an excuse to backslide? No. Did you have an excuse to backslide? You that are watching this on YouTube and on Facebook and here in this Google Classroom. No, none of us did. None of us will ever have an excuse to leave God's holy path. Because at the end of the day, the one that died for you is Jesus Christ. And he, I guarantee you, has never let you down. And I'm going to go even further. Not only has Jesus never let you down in the past, he will never let you down in the future. No matter what you go through, no matter how hard things get in your life, you will never be able to say, God let me down. You will never be able to say, I've been abandoned by Jesus Christ. You will never be able to say, the Holy Spirit abandoned me and let me go. Never. Jesus promised, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. And trust me when I tell you, when Jesus says never, he means never. Like when Jesus says, truly, truly, I say unto you, except the man be born again, he can't even see the kingdom of God. Brother Dwayne, amen. And the Amplified Version, it uses it three times. It says, I'll never, never, no, never leave you. I love that. That's one of the reasons why I love the Amplified so much. Um, it's almost kind of like the holy, holy, holy God is... Yes, three exactly. A three-chord witness, right? Exactly, amen. That's so true. Well said, brother. Brother Andrew, raise your hand. Get Mom. So we see, he says... He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. And we never have an excuse for leaving God. Never, ever, ever give anyone credence when they say they left the Lord and they have a good excuse. You have no excuse for leaving God. There's not one person on this planet 
no matter what anybody did to them in church, no matter what anybody ever did to them, period, that they could ever say, Lord, I have this great excuse for leaving God. Lord, I have this excuse. The pastor treated me badly. The pastor's wife treated me badly. One of the deacons flirted with me. One of the old men in church flirted with me. Whatever excuse you may have, none of it is good enough in the sight of God. You have a savior who gave his very life for your sins. You have a savior that was whipped. You have a savior that was beaten. His beard was ripped off. They put a crown of thorns on his head. He was beaten so badly, no one could even recognize Jesus Christ. They could not recognize his beaten face. And you think that an insult or something bad that happened to you in church or in your family or one of your friends that you looked up to or some spiritual person that you watch on TV and did something wrong, that gives you the excuse to turn your face against God. Never. Jesus is the fairest among 10,000. Jesus is the lily of the valley. Jesus is the rose of Sharon. Jesus is the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. You think that anything you've gone through in this life gives you the excuse to turn your back on God? Never. Never. Don't ever look on men and say, oh, look at this terrible guy. Look at this terrible thing he did. I think I'll leave God. I think I'll stop going to church. I even know people that say, oh, you know what? No one could even recognize Jesus Christ. They could not recognize his beaten face. And you think that an insult or something bad that happened to you in church or in your family or one of your friends that you looked up to or some spiritual person that you watch on TV and did something wrong, that gives you the excuse to turn your face against God. Never. Jesus is the fairest among 10,000. Jesus is the lily of the valley. Jesus is the rose of Sharon. Jesus is the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end the Amen. first and the last you think that anything you've gone through in this life gives you the excuse to turn your back on God never never don't ever do that don't ever look upon men don't ever look on men and say, oh, look at this terrible guy. Look at this terrible thing he did. I think I'll leave God. I think I'll stop going to church. I even know people that say, oh, you know what? The Holy Spirit told me to stop going to church. Baloney. The Holy Spirit never goes against the word of God.